let's see how to answer this question that has appeared in IPMAT 2023 QA short answer section. The total number of positive integer solutions. Positive integers means natural numbers of 21 less than or equal to A plus B plus C less than or equal to 25, which means the sum of A, B and C can be equal to 21 or 22 or 23 or 24 or 25. We can apply the theory of partitioning here where I have to divide 21 identical objects into three groups. But because A, B, C are natural numbers, none of them should be zero. So to cater to that, I will replace A with A dash plus one, B with B dash plus one, and C with C dash plus one. So because of which A plus B plus C becomes A dash plus B dash plus C dash plus three is equal to 21 to 25. If I subtract three on both sides, then it becomes 18 or 19 or 20 or 21 or 22. Now I can say that the theory of partitioning can be applied, where if I take, for example, 18. I need to divide 18 into three groups where some of them can be empty, meaning A dash, B dash, C dash can be zeros, which is possible in 18 plus 3 minus 1. So 20 C3 minus 1, 20 C2. And then if I take 19, 19 plus 3, 22 minus 1, 21 C3 minus 1, that is 21 C2, 22 C2. 23C2 and 24C2. Now this is 20 into 19 by 2. 20 into 19 is 380 by 2, 190. Then 21 into 20 by 2, which is 210. 22 into 21 by 2. Now that is 11 into 21, which is 231. Now 23 into 22 by 2, which is 23 into 11, 230 plus 23, 253. And 24 into 23 by 2, which is 12 into 23, that is 230 plus 46, which is 276. So the sum of all these, now I can say 190 and 210 is 400, then a 200, 600. There are 200, 800, and a 200,000. Now, if I look at the remaining values, now 31 plus 53 is 84. 84 plus 76 is 160. 1000 plus 160, the total number of positive integer solutions we have is 1160. Or once you understand how this problem is solved using the theory of partitioning, we would like you to try the replica question that you see on the screen and post your answers on the comment section below.